Welcome back guys to another iteration of our language learning series, Chat Patois. Today, we're going to bring you part two of our intro to full Jamaican Patois immersion. If this is your first time with us, you may have some difficulty keeping up since each of our lessons build on the previous one. But feel free to visit our YouTube homepage where you can check out our earlier lessons if you want to catch up to us. Welcome back to part two of our full part two immersion recap. In another lesson here, we are going to go over lesson five to seven, since them are the only two we have left. But before we do that, we have to go over some housekeeping and we are going to explore the word left. After we're done with all of that, then we are going to move on to more Patois conversational skills we are going to be able to use. But some quick housekeeping. Most words in a Patois will end in a FT, lose the T at the end. For example, words like soft, left, sift, and craft would have just be soft, left, sift, and craft etc. The three main way we use left. The first way we use left are for the opposite are right. So you can either go right or left. The second way we use it for the present tense a leave. A exception this. We use left for both instances for past and present. So you have to listen to the context to figure out which one we are talking about. Sometimes you will hear it paired with out. So for example, you might hear, Me I left. Me I left you now. Me I left out. Or, Me soon left out. All of them mean, I am leaving. Or the last one, I'll be leaving soon. The third way we use left, after the past tense, I leave. This is one of the few exceptions in a patois where we actually use the past tense. In a this instance, we usually pair left with already. So for example, if we say somebody already left, we would have said, him left already, or him left out already. Here's a conversation with all three. If you want to find the stadium, go about one mile from the road, yeah? and when you reach the end, make a left. It will go up on the left hand side. What time you are left? Me soon left out, man. In about half hour. You see Jimmy anyway? No, you know. Me think him left out already. Me soon left too. This is a good spot to pause and review, guys. Before we move on to the recap, me could look for how we use soon in a patwa. Soon in a patwa. Normally, they're in between the noun or pronoun and the verb as an indication of an action that are going to occur expeditiously. We use it mostly as a reassurance so we are going to perform an action. We don't use it in all cases, but some of the instances where it's most common. For example, people are left for come back shortly may say, Me soon come, or Me soon come back. If you are travel to somebody and them call you to see where you're there, you might reply, Me soon reach. If you're about to left from where you're there, you may want, Me soon left, or Me soon left out. If you owe money, you might promise somebody, Me soon pay you. It works the same way in our question. For example, You soon come? It also interchangeable with uno and them, and it works with other verbs as well. Okay, so that added a whole heap of information. Take a break also if you want, so you can go over what you learn. Or if you're ready for move on, make we go review the lesson them were left. We just have to skim over the recap page them for each lesson. 
because we go over them already in a detail. So just as a refresher before we move on to a Patwa conversation section. So in our lesson 5, we did go over kiss me teeth. We touched upon a couple of words we used together with thoughts. We did check out the greeting them from the different eras. And certain phrase them we use for validation when we attack. Them actions are common in a Patwa conversation. So get used to them because you're going to hear them enough. We did unpack quite a few things in other lesson here. We did start off with the long and short form of the vowel O and its pronunciation. We did explain how we pluralize in a patwa with the help of the word them. We did do some housekeeping and introduce some colloquial item where we use for carry on conversation. And last but not least, we did go over the different type of the patwa preposition them. In our lesson 7, we introduce you to the word ya, yeah, which means here in our English and the different way them we use it. We did go over how we use de, which means there or at, depending upon the context. We look upon the word so, and how it can mean so, like that, or that way. And when you pair it with ya or de, it can mean right there or right here. We also close our English based lesson them to start present in a full patwa, so you can get the full patwa experience and get acclimated to it. That's it. I write that for the full part of immersion intro. Guys, that at the end of the intro to a full part of immersion lesson recap. If you did have difficulty or follow along with me, take the time and go back over some of the older lesson them. I try to use only what we teach you know, in the previous one them. If you have a grasp on the prior lesson them, then you have a solid base for move forward. If you don't grasp it yet, you're going to have trouble with the lesson them we are coming in the future. We are going to put up some expansion at the prior lesson them so you have more material for practice with. Love for some feedback for make we know if the whiteboard presentation them are work for uno or if uno prefer a different format. We also are learn as we grow. The next lesson is going to be a preview of how we are going to present moving forward. So, thank you again. If you stick with me. All right, so we reached the end of lesson nine. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave us some comments, and make sure you click the notification bell so you be first to be notified whenever we put out anything new. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram.